being positive and negative numbers. It says, when added to negative 15, right, which numbers give a sum that in this case is greater than zero or less than zero or equal to zero? So it really requires to think about what's happening when we add numbers to negative 15. So I think um, a good place to start is the opposite of negative 15. Let's add positive 15 to negative 15. So we have positive 15 plus negative 15. Well, what happens? We get 0. They're opposites. So in part C, we could say uh, only the opposite of negative 15, because there really is no other number right, that exists anywhere. When we add to negative 15, it gives us 0. It's only this number. So we can say that uh, positive 15, we can write that as an answer, or we could say, um, well, we should write or. Another way of saying that is an, uh, the opposite, right, of, oops, of negative 15. Um, or we could say that on a number line, this is the number, right, if here's 0 and negative 15 sitting over here, well, positive 15 is sitting the exact same distance from 0 on the other side of 0. So uh, we could say the number that's the same distance from 0, right? They're both 15 away from 0. So same distance from 0. And an easier way of say saying that is absolute value, uh, right? The same absolute value. That just means, absolute value just means distance from zero. Um, so when they have the same distance from zero, add them up, and we'll get zero. That's the opposites are all about. Um, now, in the next two categories, we should either go up or down from, from perhaps the opposite to think, to think about this question, right? So um, let's set up 15, negative 15 plus positive 15, which is what we just put, right? I'm just changing the order. That gave us zero. So what happens if I had negative 15 plus negative plus 14, or negative 15 plus 13, and so forth? Right here, I'm lowering these numbers. Well, this is negative one, because negative 15, right, is one further from zero than 14. They're not equal anymore. And in this case, negative 15 is two further from zero than positive 13. So the answer is negative two. So whenever our number has a lower absolute value than negative 15, our answer will be negative or less than zero. So I'm going to say whenever x, we can call all these numbers x, is less than right, 15. Oops, 15. Anything less than 15. Or x has an absolute value less than negative 15, right? So whenever the absolute value is less than negative 15, or you could say positive 15, either way, whenever the distance from 0 is less than 15. Now the reverse is true. When we add numbers where the absolute value is greater than negative 15, right, in all these cases we get positive answers. So when we add positive 16 to negative 15, we get positive 1. 16 is 1 further from 0 than negative 15. And here we get positive, oops, positive 2 because 17 is 2 further from 0 than negative 15. So whenever our numbers are bigger than 15, we get positive values, positive sums. Right? Sum means when we add. So if x is bigger than 15 or x saying the same thing has an absolute value greater than 15. And this is easy to see on a number line. If we have right, negative 15 here, here's 0. 15 was our 0 point. When we added this opposite to negative 15, we got 0. So it doesn't make sense that anything over here, anything less than 15, and it keeps going, right? When added to negative 15, will be less than this zero point, right? This is zero, everything less than it, adding to negative 15 is less than the zero point. Everything to the right of that, everything bigger than 15, is also going to be bigger than zero. 
And that's that this opposite is like the balancing point. So I would actually start by thinking about when does the sum actually equal zero. It's a very critical point. All right, hope that helps.